A Cumberland third grader and his entire family are getting a surprise vacation to New Hampshire thanks to a classmate's selfless and inspiring gesture. Iowa to Sue's reporter Shantae Lance joins us now from the newsroom with a story that's new at five. Putting others before yourself is not always second nature, but one Cumberland third grader did just that, even inspiring his mother. <laughs> this is where nine-year-old Tyler Chobanian will spend his summer break inside his Cumberland home with his family. He's content because he knows that his friend will have a different story to tell when they return to school. Well, I want this vacation for this kid. The third grader won a free trip for his classmate, Sean Govin, by writing an essay beating out more than 100 kids enrolled in a statewide after-school program. I felt surprised. The rule was to explain why your family should win a free vacation. But Tyler had a different idea. Most of the kids wrote about how their parents should get it, but they didn't realize that there's other people out there that need it more. Like his friend's mom, 40-year-old Kim Govin, who is battling cancer. Although he turned his paper in, Tyler remembers exactly what he wrote. He says it's short, just one paragraph. I think that Sean should get the trip to New Hampshire. I think this because since his mom has cancer, they need time to relax and then and then I put, so that's why I think Sean should get the vacation. A lesson of humility learned early in life. Tyler unknowingly inspired his own mother. He was so matter of fact about that this family should win that it makes you think that in all of this chaos in this world that um, it's really just as simple as seeing things through the eyes of a nine-year-old. His eyes saw more than his friend's family could imagine. But he's using his mouth now to leave the Govins with these two words. Have fun. The Govins will spend the entire 4th of July holiday week in a condo near Plymouth, New Hampshire. Tyler says he's looking forward to hearing all about it when they return. Reporting in the newsroom, Shantae Lance, Eyewitness News.